Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm throwing down some jams with strange instruments. But before we dive in, I wanna let you know that if you think you need some weird instruments in your collection, well, I've got great news for you. Sweetwater.com is running a giveaway where you can win your musical wish list. All you need to do is head over there using the link in the description, pack your list full of whatever musical goodies you desire, and you'll be entered to win it all up to $5,000. This is going on until December 11th, 2018. You don't wanna miss it, check it out. All right, let's get into it. The first instrument I'm gonna be rocking out with is my shamisen. It's a traditional Japanese instrument. This one was built over 100 years ago and has been in my family since 2015. Instead of a pick, you use this windshield scraper looking thing called a bocce. If you don't know what a windshield scraper is, I envy you. It's what people of the North use to scrape winter off our cars. Anyways, this bad boy is fretless, which poses an interesting challenge. I also have minimal picking skills. I don't have a ton of confidence going into this, but hopefully I bring my family honor. Here we go. Next up, we have a whistle flute that I made from a carrot. The best thing about this is the price and availability at any grocery store. How did I make this, you ask? Power tools and a YouTube instructional video. Getting it to sound in tune or musical will probably require some studio magic, but when you get tired of blowing on your carrot flute, you can always enjoy it as a healthy snack. Hey diddle diddle, guitar, drums, and fiddle can be used to play rock and roll tunes. But who needs a snare when the kitchen's right there? You dummy, just grab yourself a pair of spoons. Two things in life I quite enjoy are hockey and music. Combine them both and voila, we have a guitar built from two hockey sticks. My dad and I crafted this beauty a couple years ago. He did the building and I was tasked with the important job of providing moral support. It's tuned to open E and is great for playing those bluesy slide licks. Let's see what we can do with it. Next, we have the Astral Whip, which I featured in a recent Weird Pedals video, but it's so great I had to bring it back. It's basically a vacuum tube attached to a guitar pedal casing with a microphone inside. When spun around in circles, it sounds rather spectacular. Check it out. <laughs> Next up, we have the Omnichord, an electronic auto harp built in the 80s. As you can see, I don't have one. Wish I did, they sound super cool, but I've yet to come across one. However, thanks to technology, I found a website that emulates one. It functions in a similar way to the actual one. You select which chord you wanna play using the letters, and then you strum that chord using the numbers. Sounds good enough, the Cyber Omnichord will have to do until the day I find a real one. My last strange instrument for today is an instrument that predates the electric guitar, the theremin. Named after its creator, Leon Theremin, who patented the device in 1928. The pitch is controlled by how far my right hand is from this antenna. The volume is controlled by how far my left hand is from this antenna. To me, it sounds like a cross between an opera singer and R2-D2. 
How hard can this thing rock? Let's see if we can take the theremin to the theramax. have it, rocking out with my strange instruments. I want to remind you guys that there are weird as well as many normal instruments over at www.sweetwater.com. And up to December 11th, 2018, using the link in the description, you can win up to $5,000 worth of free gear. Hit the link, fill out your list by clicking the add to list button on any item and you're automatically entered. It can be a single Gibson, it can be a thousand pairs of Daddario strings, whatever it is that you're dreaming of this holiday season. On my list, I've got a Royer ribbon mic that looks like a lightsaber, an Ernie Ball St. Vincent guitar, and a Roland keytar. How I've gone this long without owning a keytar, I don't know, but maybe Sweetwater Santa will change that this year. Thank you all for watching, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for regular musical content. If you want to see another video like this one, click that link up there. And if you've got a weird instrument you think I should try out, let me know in the comments. Until next time, thank you all again. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I will see you soon.